What's good, my DV fam? Salute to y'all and salute to my subscribers. Subscribers, this your boy D Chase. I'm remaking my damn Minnesota um, Detroit Lions defeat the Minnesota uh, Vikings. My victory lap video and review for week four. Reason why I'm doing this is because um somebody commented, one of my subscribers commented on my page, and I'm glad he did. Salute to you, brother. He let me know that um it was some sketchy sounds going on in my background for my last video, so I'm reshooting this over again. So before I get deep into this, though, I do want to give my um my deepest sympathy and um sympathy and condolences to um Steve Long what's his name? Longa. He's our um long snapper. He um his father was tragically killed Thursday night. Um traveling across um trying to cross um route 61 in pennsylvania and um was struck by a car and was killed instantly um my condolences to you brother um i know why you did what you did yesterday going against martha ford's orders but anyway we'll get further into that in the next video i'm gonna do today so but with that said the lions defeat the minnesota vikings live at um u.s bank stadium um, the largely new built stadium, um, separated from the, um, what was it? Humphrey something stadium, um, uh, stadium that was torn down and demolished. Now, um, we came here, um, a little banged up. Um, they also still had Delvin Cook hot and ready to go. The first half, um, the first quarter, Stafford still looked at a little rusty. Um, I don't know what's been going on. I don't know if this protest thing is part of what's going on or is it's just unwanted media or staffers just trying to warm up and um you got to think too we lost um a couple of our linemen doing that um office linemen doing that atlanta falcon um controversy game um i'm not gonna talk about that because i get pissed all over again but um we came out and we played man we fought I feel like this game was a little bit of battle of the defenses. I mean, the offenses did their thing of some of some sort, but then um, the defense kind of took over. Now, um, I got to know to to hear Whitehead play. He played great for a guy that I normally rag on because of his play, because of his um his awareability. Where he, you know, he I don't know if sometimes he's aware of what the play is going to be, and then he kind of like tries to make a big play by stepping where he's not supposed to be. I mean, look at that. Just look, take a look at that Giants game when he left my man coming out and he thought my man was going to come in. And, um, you know, he left that man, vi he left that man visible and open. So, but, um, he played great. Um, Glover Quinn played great. Darius Slay played great. Um, Miles Kilbrew played great. Um, Stafford, he got off to a slow start. Um, halftime was six to seven, I believe. And then, um, uh, we scored the third quarter. Um, well, Stafford, um, threw it to, um, I think it was, um, who was it that caught the touchdown? I can't think of who it was. Um, I think it was, um, I think it was a doula, man. Yeah, it was a doula. And they was trying to compare his call to the go to take controversial call at the end of that Falcons Alliance game, which, both stated that these by these guys both arm had crossed the the goal line to consider it's a touchdown now um you know we we the lions are known for being having calls going against them i mean look at the aaron Rodgers hail mary look at the face mask last year in the playoffs against um against um seattle look at look at all the stuff we had to look at all this adversity we had to go through and like teams Pe the team the people in the teams don't still give us respect i feel like after this after we show this they're gonna have to start taking us serious because um we played this game with a pretty banged up defense and a pretty banged up offense um wow greg robinson you're my first don't do's um this guy was getting blown up the spot he let one sack um he let stafford get sacked one time my disappointing player a little bit was ricky wagner he let stafford get blown up too um, it was, Stafford got sacked four times yesterday, by the way, four, he didn't throw no picks, but if these guys were really smart and held onto the ball, Stafford would have threw three picks this game. It's three picks I saw from this game. He would have thrown, um, the one guy caught it, picked it off, but he was out of bounds. So it doesn't count as a pick. Cause he has to be inbound and fall out before it'll be a pick. Now, um, Delvin Cook got injured. After the half, 
And um, that's a big blow from Minnesota going into the fact that they have to verse the Bears. Who's now breaking? Who's going to start fucking Mitchell Trubisky after the fact that they didn't start him these first fucking three games? That's like fucking stupid. Oh, no, I'm sorry. These first four games. I'm sorry. Um, They're one and three right now. So you didn't start this guy. And now you're going to start him. And he's going to be rusty, of course. And it's, this is not preseason. People are not just flying around. People are really trying to fight for a position. Now, they're trying to fight for a playoff position. Now, with that said, I truly see, I truly see us going into this Carolina game. Um, we got to step it up. But from what I took, Stafford, um, um, De shout out, shout out to Darren Fells, man. He stepped up big time. I'm talking about prime time step up. Um, came out there and caught four, um, received caught four yards, man. I mean, caught four passes, man. Over sixty yards, man. I, I, I I'm feeling that, man. Um. Get that guy involved more. That guy out there looking like a basketball player. He like he get he like he come off a pick and roll. Like he just come off a pick and roll, and that's an automatic ten yards right there. Cause you're throwing hard. He already five yards in. Then he rolls out another five yards. Man, keep doing your thing. Um, now we had key injuries this game. Okay, of course no Gerard Davis. Brain still not, but he's not his brain no more. He's saying his neck. So they tried to keep him on the sideline till his neck heals up and gets better. I do believe he'll be coming in this um Carolina game against the Panthers here live at Four Field. Now we got um Par Warlow went the fuck down. Ain't can't you believe that shit? This week, son of a bitch went down, and we was. Dealing with another situation. So, um, Jim Bob, I mean, um, Brian, Bob Quinn, this year's draft, please get a running back and you definitely got to get some linebackers, bro, because we're, our linebackers are falling like fucking trees. Like, you look over this guy hurt. You look over this guy hurt. Paul Warlow is just replacing, um, Gerard Davis and he had to go out. And then to hear White had to come from the weak side to play middle linebacker once again because we are short linebackers. I don't understand that shit. How we, I mean, Zenner is not going to do it. Zenner likes running into traffic. Zenner hasn't proven nothing to me since last season. Amir Dula scared the fuck out of me once again. I thought he was hurt, but he wasn't. So. With that said, we're gonna have to go get some uh, some running backs and some some middle linebackers and some some um a little bit of offensive line. Now I did hear something that King was saying last night in our podcast that um Gerard Davis could be coming back. Um, but he said also he said um he said Taylor Decker could be coming back from the after the next after these next two games. So that'll be a blessing in the skies. I would love that. I would appreciate that. We need him because Greg Robinson is getting his spot blown the fuck up. Um and is making a whole offensive line look bad. Tra Travis Swanson just came back. TJ Lang was playing yesterday. Played great, man. I don't take nothing from him. Um Wagner disappointed me a little bit, but I I don't hear bounce back. Oh god. Excuse me, y'all. I'm so sorry. But uh he'll bounce back, I know. Now, um, like I said, Darren Fells played great. Miles Kilbrew played great. Miles Kilbrew went from trying to make tackles now to trying to pick the ball off. Um, teams should really watch out for this guy because if he starts locating that ball better, your guy's going to be in fucking trouble because this guy is quick as shit. And he can get under you. He can get on you. He can be hip to hip with your ass. I've been a wide receiver playing football in high school. One thing you don't want to do to do is be hip to hip with you because nine times out of ten, he could position himself to catch the ball and pick it off. And if you're behind him and he's in front of you, he pretty much has the he pretty much has the greater advantage to getting the ball than you do. So my Lions, my Lions pulled it out. One pride rider stand up. Detroit Nation stand up. Them boys defended the den, even though they wasn't in the den. They was in fucking U.S. Bank Stadium, that fucking glass hole that, that these bastards playing. They was in that bitch, and they stood up, and they won. They fought like shit. That's the game I'm talking about. Fight, fight, fight. Don't They could have gave up at any given moment. I seen these dudes shut Minnesota down in the red zone. And on top of that, these bastards missed the fucking field goal from like the 30. Hey, are you fucking kidding me? Dog, our defense got to be taken serious. Stephen A., Dick Riding Smith, Shannon, Aaron Rodgers, nut in my face sharp. You bitches got to take notice now. Y'all can't keep calling my team the laughing stock of the fucking NFL. Because I see some laughing stocks yesterday. Like that fucking sushi, that Miami sushi game against the fucking the New Orleans Kanks. How the fuck do the Kanks beat y'all when they secondary suck ass? They secondary is shitty. 
They they secondary is shitty boo boo, and they embarrassed you guys. Didn't even have Adrian Peterson out there to run that bitch. But anyway, I'm not even gonna go about them because my team won. Yeah, we won by a lousy ass touchdown, and we had to get a touchdown into conversions because we really the game was really up for grabs at that point. No, this game was back and forth. It was up with grabs. Delvin Cook was looking like the breakout star they drafted, and then he got hurt. Now, speaking of his um injury result, it looks like it's an ACL. Don't know how bad it is. Don't know if he... I'm pretty sure the way he grabbed his knee when that, that happened... Look at, the, look at that dude from um Tampa Bay. I mean, not Tampa Bay. I'm sorry. Um, New, New England Patriots. That, that, that Adam... What is his name? Alder, Elderman... He fucked his shit up before the season. That was a preseason game. He fucked his shit up. And Delvin Cook just fucked this shit up four, four weeks into the season. So I'm pretty sure he's gonna it's gonna say torn ligament. He's gonna be out for the fucking season. I mean torn ACL ligament. He's gonna be out for the fucking season. No, damn. What the fuck? This is why I tell running backs, quit planting your fucking feet. Unless you gift it like fucking golden tape, he the only motherfucker that can do that shit. Like and get away with it. But um, like I said again. Right down in my comment sessions, I want to hear every one pride rider. I want to hear everybody. I don't care if you're not a one pride rider. Come in this bitch and let me know how my team performed. Because I do. I will come in your shit and let you know how your team performed. Hit that like button for your boy, man. And subscribe to your boy. Oh, and this too. Subscribe to all my DVE family, man. Um, and Oh, yeah. Before I get up out of here, I did this in a podcast last night. But I'm going to do it again. Man, Beast Morris, you were so fucking right. I should have went with you and said the fucking bungholes because you said they was gonna. It was some reason they was gonna shock the fucking world and just win, and they did that shit. They won their first. They won their first fucking game. I mean, not they. I don't think that's their first win, but I, if it is, I I don't follow the motherfuckers like that. But they won their fucking game like yesterday. Thirty-one to seven was fucking horrible. That was almost these dog. But let me tell you the game of the, the horrible game of the day. Fucking Houston Texans. Blew the dog shit out of fucking Tennessee Titans, man. Fifty-seven to third, the fourteen. The fuck out of here, man. But anyway, one pride rider stand up. Detroit Nation stand up. Um, um, DV fam stand up. My subscribers stand up. We did it, boy. We fucking three and one. They gotta start taking us seriously. This your boy D Chase. I'm out of here. Salute and peace.